Hey guys, so let's talk. When I'm debating with creationists, uh, one thing that I usually mention as part of my argument is what exactly is the function of religion in society? I mean, does it serve a purpose? And creationists would ask me back that same question. And I would say, well, the burden of proof isn't on us because we don't believe in that. And to my knowledge, um, I don't think there is an answer to that question, or at least a good answer to that question, because honestly, religion doesn't serve a purpose in society other than the feel-good feeling, which, well, you can get that feel-good feeling from a lot of things that make you happy. So I usually debate with Christians about this, and they tell me, well, the function of Christianity in society is that it brings us closer to God. And obviously that's a good thing, right? And I'd say, well, that's not proven, so try again, guys. And the next point they'd make is, well, they help those in need. So many Christians would say, well, all those Christian foundations, they bring food and water and the Bible to poorer nations like Africa and parts of China that can't afford these things, that, that can't afford these basic necessities. And I actually do have a problem with that. And most of my explanation requires you to be in their shoes. It requires you to feel as they feel, to be sick, to be needy, to be poor. So first I'd like to start off by saying, imagine you're one of these people. You're underprivileged, you're poor, and many of your family members are the same, that they're all poor, they're all sick, and you are stuck in a rut because you're homeless, you're struggling just to make ends meet. In short, you're barely surviving. So I come across you one day in your desperate state, and I say, hello there, I see that you're underprivileged, and I just happen to have some food and some water and some medicine for you, which you can all have, no strings attached. And most of you would be grateful. In fact, you'd be like jumping for joy, right? And I just let it slip that, oh, by the way, we're going to have a Scientologist meeting. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm sorry. That's, that was a bad example. Let me try. And then I say, oh, and by the way, I'm having a worship Buddha ceremony tonight. And I'd appreciate it if you could join us. And let's say for the benefit of the doubt that you don't go. So I leave and in a week's time, you're back to being poor and sick. And so is your family. And you are again struggling to make ends meet. So here I come back another month later and what do you know? I say, oh, hello there. I remember you from last time. And I just happen to have some more food and water and medicine for you. And of course, you're all grateful. And again, I let it slip that, oh, and by the way, we're going to be worshipping the great Buddha tonight, and you should really come this time. Now, rem remember, you have to imagine yourself in their shoes. So if you're completely desperate, your family's sick, you are sick, you're, you're poor, you're hungry, you need these things, and someone's offering them to you, would you really stab the hand that just fed you? So even if you don't believe in Buddha, well, what if your family starts to? What if your friends start to? What if everyone around you starts to believe in Buddha and not the God you originally believed in? What if they're abandoning their God, their original God, in favor of this new one. How does that make you feel? I, I'm sure that's not a very pleasant feeling. So why would you inflict that on someone when you would not want that done to yourself? At this point in the video, I can already imagine a lot of Christians going, oh, well, we don't force these people to believe in God. It's their choice. Well, not really. And here's why. If you do anything, they have the power to completely crush your family. They're, remember, you can't survive without them. 
So, would you really want to disobey them? I don't think so. That's, that's not a bright idea. So when Christians say that they're helping out the world by helping out the third world nations, I'd have to disagree. And the first reason being that you're destroying the native culture by introducing your religion. And in the process of doing that, you're ruining friendships, you're ruining family relationships. And that's not a good thing, obviously. And so the second thing is, well, these people aren't even in the right state of mind to be making such a monumental decision. They're in a state of weakness, in a state of desperation. I know you're not intending to force it down their throats, but why introduce it like that to them when they're clearly not in the right state of mind to be making such a big decision? Oh, and before I go, just a quick shout out to Crazy Pills too. Uh, I left a comment on your channel as well as the latest video that you featured me in, and I wanted to apologize for my comment. I wasn't thinking straight. It was near my bedtime and didn't have time to watch your video and I saw Shock of God was in the description so I kind of automatically assumed that you were trolling me like some of his little Christian minions were. My apologies man. Thanks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace and may the truth always be heard.